Hello there folks, welcome back to Food Reviews and welcome back to not necessarily part two but uh, the second review today I did mention in my last review of the McCoy's Muchos smoky chili chicken flavour that uh, I was doing two back to back reviews and this is the second one here I've literally just uploaded the uh, first one uh, so once that's all processed through and everything that should be available to view well here we go with the second one and same product but different flavour so we're just going to have a, a quick look through this one we're not going to you know drag it out as long as the other one so they're a new product by McCoy's they're called Muchos they are folded tortilla folded crispy tortilla snack tortilla snacks and this flavor is nacho cheese that should be interesting that should be very interesting that's very mexican isn't it nachos and tortillas you can see there the little picture actually of the nacho and the cheese and the the guitar lots of things there that resemble Spanish culture or Mexico, the music, the maracas. I think that's a maraca, isn't it? Is it a maraca? Obviously, we've got the guitar there. Yeah, very nice. I didn't notice that actually with the other packet. Um, pretty much the same thing. Pretty much the same design as the, uh, the other flavour, you know, you've got the uh, little backstory there. Website down there, look, mccoys.co.uk, follow them on Facebook or Twitter. And then on this side you've got your ingredients and nutritional facts and all that. Yeah, not really a lot to... Uh, a lot to see obviously they are a new product one pound from uh, my local shop and obviously that's what they look like so they're like a folded sort of like a semicircle shape meant to resemble a folded tortilla now uh, obviously you know I did talk a little bit more in depth in the last in the last video so go back and refer to that for more information <clears throat> so, without further ado, let's get them open and uh, give them a go. Mmm, yep, cheese smell already. There we go, get some out. I'll just do a little bit of sorting again, try and make them. Down there. Now I have washed this tray, in case you're wondering. I washed it after the last video and I've dried it so it's all fresh and new again. <clears throat> there they are. Look at that. There's a few more this time. I've got a few more out just to uh, make a nicer picture. That would make a good picture actually. A uh, good thumbnail, but uh, we shall have to see, won't we? We'll have to see what options come available. So, well, from the first glance at them, they, they don't look much different, to be honest, than the... Uh, oh, the sun's trying to come out. That helps. Um, they don't look much different to the uh, chilli-flavoured ones. Maybe a little bit lighter in colour, obviously, because these are not chili flavored residue on them uh, these are just uh, nacho cheese flavor but um comparison wise they look more or less the same you know uh, a little bit more bubbly now they don't look like what they say on the on the packet if we have a look at the picture on the front of the packaging you can see that look, they've got like creases in them sort of 
but these look very different. We can, well, you can sort of see the patterning. It's there slightly, but it's not as um, revealing as it is on the... You can sort of see it. It is there, sort of. Again, like if we're just trying to snap one in half. Yeah, quite a tough consistency. So, uh, mm, let's try one. So, uh, nacho cheese, uh, nachos, again, associated with Mexico. Um, couldn't really describe to you really what a nacho is. Um, The best, the best uh, example I'm going to give you is, um, I'll be very shocked if none of you have ever heard of Doritos. Uh, they're also a, a, a popular crisp over here. Uh, they're a lot triangular shaped and they're very crunchy. Now a nacho is pretty much a Dorito but obviously it's just salted, it's got no flavour. Obviously, nachos you eat with, obviously, you could eat have them with nacho cheese. Uh, more commonly, you have them with, like, guacamole uh, or salsa. Um, you know, you can have them as a starter, and they come with, like, guacamole, salsa, and, like, cream, cream cheese or something like that on them. So... Yeah, that's that's the best example I can give you of a nacho, really. Um, these have a very similar texture to a nacho, but these are more... These break down easier when you're crunching them, whereas a nacho, it's very crunchy. Um, you have to, like, eat little bits at a time, really, of a nacho. Not that they're very big, like, but they they do have quite a, a tough consistency on them. So, anyway, let's uh, let's get down to it. First taste of a nacho cheese flavour, McCoy Mucho. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Mm, I can taste the chives in that as well. They are brilliant. When I first bit into them, they reminded me of a quaver. Now for those who live in the UK, you know what quavers are. Or another brand of crisps. They've got like a strong cheese flavour. But then as I um, was crunching through, the taste of chive came out as well. It reminded me of eating nachos. You've got the crunch and you've got like, the cheese and chive flavour. There's also a little kick in there as well, which could be the salsa. It could resemble the salsa. That's quite spicy. So it's like you've got sort of two flavours in there, but obviously that it's only supposed to be based on one flavour, which is the nacho cheese. But yeah, even now, like after I've swallowed it, I've still got like a little aftertaste in my mouth, which could be salsa or guacamole, you know, to associate it with nachos. The crisp itself doesn't really have any um, flavour to it. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, the crisp itself doesn't have any flavour. But yeah, that, that flavour, all oh, the cheese, yeah. Very nice. And then you get this sort of aftertaste. I don't want to sound biased here or anything, or, you know. I think these are better than the ones I tried before, the chilli ones. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like them both. But I thought out of the two, I thought that this one I'd enjoy more. But no, it's the other way around, I think I enjoy the, uh, the chilli ones more. These are very good though, they've got a lovely flavour, lovely consistency. Let me just pop them to the side to try and stop me from eating them all again. We'll get that uh, picture back there we are. before yeah very good I really do like them I think the other ones top it top it though just a little bit I think what with it being chili chicken the other ones um, you know that's quite a nice mixture whereas you know cheese nacho cheese tangy cheese you know all these you know, as nice as it is, there are just too many products out there that are cheese flavoured. You know, the amount of cheese crisps that you get over here, you know, cheese and onion, cheddar cheese, you know, um, tangy cheese, cheese and chive, you know, stuff like that. You know, there's, there's only... You can only review that in so much detail. You know, you've had one cheese flavoured crisp, you've had them all really, but um, they are still good though. And you know, with it being nacho cheese as well, that's that's a little bit different and uh, you can taste a lot more than just cheese in there. Like I say, I've got this spicy sort of aftertaste in my mouth now, uh, which could be, like, resemble the salsa or the guacamole, or even like the spiced herbs that sometimes baits in with the nachos just to give them a little bit of uh, colouring and flavour but yeah as far as that goes um, I think we've we've covered pretty much everything uh, another positive review you know it was the first first taste of something new and I've enjoyed it very much and I hope you've enjoyed it so thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, don't forget to leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, subscribe and share the channel to help it grow, and take care of yourselves, and until the next time, I'll bid you good day.